Hello and welcome to another tutorial. Today we'll be learning about the mobile version of your website. So uh, once you start using My Restaurant theme, once you activate it in your WordPress dashboard, you'll instantly have activated the mobile version of your website. And this will mean that if uh, someone visits your, your, your website URL through a mobile phone, through, through iPhones, through Android phones, through tablets, uh, they'll, they'll automatically be rendered the mobile version of your website. And what this means is that they'll be shown a different version of your website that is optimized for small screens of mobile phones. Now you might, might be asking, do you really need a mobile website? And the definite answer is yes. Uh, more and more people are conducting searches through their mobile phone and it's an interesting fact that 80% of these searches uh, of the searches that people conduct through their mobile phone are to find local businesses so local uh, restaurants local stores and out of the 80% of these of these mobile searches 50% actually just want to find out the phone number the address or just want to get direct directions to the store or to your restaurant for example so uh, having a mobile version of your site is very important it'll load faster and it's basically just uh, a version of your website that concentrates on what your your visitors will want to see when they when they visit a mobile uh, website so first of all you can see that uh, the main website in my right window and uh, the mobile version of the of the website in the left window look very similar and that's because the mobile version gets its uh, colorization straight from your main website so you don't need to do anything to set it up you can also see that the the, the menu structure the navigational menu structure is the same as the main website and uh, that's useful so you don't have to create a new menu structure for your uh, mobile website next you have the home page content area and that will be the same as the one you have set up on your main website as well but from there on it gets a bit different uh, from there on your your mobile visitors are just shown your main menu one that you set up in your WordPress administration panel and, and under the my restaurant theme settings uh, there's a separate tutorial on that so they're basically shown your menu these pictures are optimized for mobile viewing so they're nice and small so it'll they load faster they can of course uh, click on these uh, images and uh, click on these links and they'll be taken to the to the details page of those uh, food items and if you scroll down a bit you'll see that the footer is gone so the footer that you would have on your main website is not there anymore uh, people are actually just shown your phone number your address and the Google map with directions and that's very important because people they are uh, coming on to your website through the mobile phone as I said, most of them, they just want your phone number and most of them will just want the maps and directions. So having a quick and easy way for them to, to get those, uh, those uh, data uh, is very important in, your, in the rendering of your mobile website. Now if they want, they can uh, opt to view the standard version of your website uh, on their mobile phone and once they're there, this little bar will stay here and they can revert back to the mobile version as well. So let's just have a look at a couple of uh, neat features that we built into the mobile version of your website. So uh, let's just go to the reservations option. Now once it's, it loads, you'll see that your, your visitors, your mobile website visitors are presented with a simple uh, reservation form and no fluff, no extra anything. It loads really quickly and they'll instantly be able to reserve a table. Unlike for example with the reservations uh, page of your main website it's it's a much uh, bigger screen and of course you have the footer and everything with the mobile version you just have a couple of simple things to fill out and they can instantly reserve a table next we can have a look at the coupons and let's just have a look at the difference between the main website and the, and the mobile website so here again as you can see no fluff uh, just your coupons that they can for example show you in in, in your restaurant right on their phone and uh, there's no need to print it out, of course, and uh, they'll have it. They'll have the coupon right in their hand. Next, we can have a look at the menu card, and this again looks just a bit different than your main website since it's optimized for mobile uh, screens. So, as you can see, uh, you don't have a sidebar or anything like that. You just basically have your food and the add to cart button, and uh, that only shows if, uh, if if the add to cart button and uh, online ordering is enabled on your website of course and your visitors can scroll down just like that and uh, they can uh, see the shopping cart if they've added anything and then they see the mobile footer 
Uh, now, uh, as you can see, we've built the shopping cart into the mobile version of your website as well, so people will actually be able to conduct online orders all right on your mobile website. So if they just press Add to Cart, then the, the item will be added to their mobile shopping cart, and then they can press Proceed to Checkout and they'll be taken to the mobile version of the checkout page which uh, works just like it does on the main website and then they can place their order for either takeaway or home delivery just like on the main website and of course this is a fully functional shopping cart so if at this point they go back to the menu card for example and if they wanted to order something else as well for example soup then the soup will be added to their shopping cart with the previous item uh, intact just as it would be on the main website. So uh, that's basically how the mobile version of your website works and as I said there are just two important things that you'll need to set up on your main website to get your phone number and your address and your Google map to appear correctly here and uh, let's just go over into our WordPress dashboard and uh, go to my restaurant and my restaurant settings and as you can see here, right on the main My Restaurant settings page, you'll have a field for your restaurant's phone number, for your restaurant's mobile number if you have one, and your restaurant address. And once you enter your address here, that address will be shown right here and in the Google Map position. And uh, this mobile internet testing program doesn't allow me to click this link, but uh, if you go ahead and check out uh, the site on your own cell phone, and you click this link, you'll see that you'll be taken to the, to Google Maps uh, and you'll be able to get the directions pointing you to this address right here. And tap to call is enabled as well, so your visitors will just simply need to tap this or this and you, their cell phones will call it automatically. So uh, that's pretty much everything you need to know about the mobile version of your website. As you can see, you don't really need to set anything up, just the phone number and uh, your restaurant's address. And of course, for the Google Maps to work, you'll need to have uh, enabled the Google Maps right here and have entered your Google Maps API key. Um, but but, but there's, there's a separate tutorial on that subject as well. All right, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. Uh, you should know everything you need to about the mobile version of your website and why it's important and how to control it. And uh, if you have any questions, make sure to ask in the forum. And I'll see you in another tutorial. Bye.